Well, the LA Zoo is a great spot, yeah. too, so I'll have to go check them out. Yeah, cool digs. When she gets there. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, temperatures are on the rise as we head toward the end of the week, but right now we're enjoying a little bit of that marine layer. We can look at the shot and say, ah. Oh. See right there? Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Oh. I love it. Thank you for the cooperation. Right? Take a look at the low cloud cover right there. So that's cooling us down. That's that sea breeze. That's really, you know, when you open that window at night and you get that breeze, that's what you're seeing right there in action. The cloud cover is rolling in, not just to the coast, but spanning into our inland valleys as well. And you will see sustained wind speeds looking like this. We're looking at, again, those onshore winds. And those are your onshore winds that are keeping us cooler and keeping us a little cloudy in the overnight hours. As we can look at temperatures right now, you'll see 60s and 70s. 70 degrees downtown USC, you'll see 73. In Fullerton, as we can look at your weather headlines, low pressure continuing to move in, so that's going to continue to bring the clouds. But eventually, high pressure coming our way by the end of the week in the weekend, and you will see the resulting temperatures pretty hot. There is some tropical moisture sitting to our south, remnants of Javier there, but most of it is moving to our east. East. We'll just see maybe a little bit of high cloud cover, but doesn't look like we'll see any of that moisture or any thunderstorms here at home. 81 earlier today in downtown, 84 is average, so we were below average. And tonight, temperatures dipping down to the 60s, and then they're up to the 70s, 80s, and 90s tomorrow. We're really out of the triple digits for now. Those are the two main words because that's all set to change, with the exception of the Coachella Valley. So low pressure dominating now, but high pressure will start to move in. And this is what temperatures are going to start to look like. By the weekend and next week, you're going to see numbers in the 90s and the triple digits. You'll see by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the valleys hitting the century mark. Jeff and Susie.